if you uh if you like lose like any I thought he was going to go in I've seen you countdown's underway Prime and Gazo getting the camo spawn off the start. Jones spawning top PR, already needed rockets to himself. And immediately converts him into a kill on Prime. Gazo's gonna be a lot of pressure on Gazo to take him out, but oh, a beautiful rocket from Jones taking out the first camo player, and Wraith is gonna get the first overshield of the game. Not yet though, I think he's saving the overshield for Jones, and they're gonna bait the overshield. Jones trying to stay out of sight, daring someone to come, and he's gonna get invincibility as soon as he sees somebody, but no, gives up on that one. And now he's gonna use this overshield to try to Find his prey. Wraith watching his back door. Spotting the player top spiral does not connect. Gazo only loses his shields, not his life. Wraith takes out Prime. And now Jones with rockets in his back pocket. Able to take out Gazo with a nice grenade. Staying alive with one red bar. Still with two rockets. Seven seconds to go until the overshield spawns. Jones in position to defend the front side of it. He's going to play to grab it. Nade's coming in on the back side. Jones able to dodge the nade, but the, not the shotgun. Good play out of Prime to get the first, the second overshield of the game, the one minute overshield. And Jones had rockets there. I don't think Prime knows that though. The rockets, I think, are still down on overshield spawn. Prime with a nice shot on Wraith. Jones trying to take out Gazo. Gazo stays alive, up in top spiral. And teams tied a four here in the early going. Gazo playing from main room with the shotgun, thinking about going up to camo, but instead gonna play from the dark hall. Oh, Wraith playing from back door. And Jones playing the main room of the portal. Now, Jones right below Prime spots and might get the headshot from below. Gets the two quick body shots, and now they're going to converge on Gazzo. They, they spot. Uh, they did not spot him. Gazzo got hit by a nade, but they don't know where he is. He's right under Wraith. Nade's coming up. Wraith spots him. There's the easy kill on the no shield player. But Prime with the snipe, nearly taking out Wraith. Gonna go for the no shield player, fully committed to finish the no shield player, but wasn't able to get it. Jones saved his life and picking up the, the hot double with the shotgun. Now, nading his spawns, does get spawned behind, and Jones gets cleaned up before he can get his shield back. Wraith trying to avenge him from the top, able to get the kill, and rockets have flown towards him. Jones scoops him up, turns it into an immediate kill on Prime once again. Deja vu for Prime from the first cycle of the game. Is Jones now defending the pink hall with the rockets? Spots and aids coming in. It looks like they may have ran out the front, and Wraith scoops it up. Gazo is able to s slide out of there with both camo and over. So right behind Jones with the back smack. Give me those rockets, son. Where's your partner? <laughs> Jones with quick. Jones has, or excuse me, Gazo has everything. He has camo, over shield, and a quick camo combo with those rockets. This is going to be real tough for the next 30 seconds or so for Jones and Wraith. Three minute camo or three minute overshield getting ready to spawn. Gazzo guesses correctly on the spiral, takes him out with the shotgun, now defending the overshield. And Gazzo, he's just gonna wait for this overshield, let Prime get it, because he still has the one from the, the two minute uh, overshield. Now he's just gonna stand on it, daring them to do damage to him. Just waiting for this. Okay, he's gonna nade himself to get this new overshield. But he missed it! Okay, goes unpunished. Able to get the shotgun kill and preserve the rocket. Gazzo still with plenty of rockets to work with. Turning it in, into another kill on Jones. Everything, well, it's still a tight game, but they certainly have the momentum at the moment. Gazzo doing work with the two minute rockets still. Jones picking up the kill on Prime with a grenade. They still don't know where Gazzo is. He's being very elusive. Yet another kill with a shotgun. Gazzo on a killing spree now, porting up, trying to finish the partner. Oh, he, he had to reload the shotgun. You don't see that very often in Halo 1. It's got a 12 round mag. Jones answering back with a posthumous double kill of his own. Wraith scooping up those rockets. That is still the two minute rockets. As everything's spawning yet again. So there's old rockets down in camo. I don't think, yeah, camo's still on spawn. Wraith's gonna get that. No, he's gonna leave it for Jones. Jones with the four minute camo and old rockets. New rockets are getting naded by Gazzo as we speak. Wraith has ported back door. He's gonna try to deny these rockets, but he has no shield. Now Wraith settles for the overshield. Dueling rockets at top PR. Jones takes him out with the help from his camo. Prime avenges quickly, so there are rockets to be had down at bottom rocket room. Gazzo trying to stay alive. Dodges one, dodges two, able to take out one and gets one and a half kills there. Prime trying to finish Jones. Long pistol battle here in bottom rockets as his partner comes off spawn. All players.
fighting for these four minute rockets here at the bottom rocket room. Gazov playing from the bottom with no shield, denying, denying those players in double doors. Prime spotting Jones on the landing as the overshield spawning here in two seconds. That's going to be Gazo able to pick up the five minute overshield. And oh, nearly meleeing his partner off spawn, trying to give the random in time. Did not get it. Gazo dodging snipes. Here comes the long range shotgun. The nade will connect. Wraith manages to survive. Jones with his own kill on Prime, trying to finish the awkward verticality there. Able to fire a wanted bullet around the corner to get Prime there before he could escape. Narrowly getting that kill. Jones still with the five minute overshield. I don't believe he's been scratched with it. Wraith going down from Prime. Prime with the snipe. Pistol battle in the double doors. Gazzo has all day, but he runs out of ammo in the fight. Loses his overshield, but Jones missed a lot of shots there. Jones and Prime up by two, about to cross the halfway mark, 24-22 at the moment. Gazzo getting picked. Nice play out of Jones. Able to pick him up, scoops up the shotgun, and everything getting ready to spawn in five seconds. Gazzo's going to play for the, the rockets, going to stand on the spawn. Able to scoop those up. That's going to be Jones with the camo. Jones and Wraith trapped in camo at the moment. Prime spotting it with the, with the snipe. Those are must land shots. He does get the body and able to take him out without losing much overshield. Here comes the camo player. Jones has given himself away, but he has the shotgun. Unable to get the shot before porting back to safety. However, Gazzo is the player to watch at the moment. He does have the rockets. It's going to be on Jones to find Gazzo. Oh my goodness, backsmack from Wraith. Nice play from Prime. Gazzo avenges. And Jones still has yet to find him. Oh, Gazzo ported. Really unfortunate port for Gazzo porting right into the camo player. That's a good trade for Gazzo. That's kind of your job when you have camo and the other team has rockets is you have to find a smart way to kill him to get them out of their hands before your camo expires. Jones avenging, taking out Gazzo, reclaiming control of the six minute rockets. I believe he has two left. No, only one. Overshield spawning now in the seventh minute. That's going to be Jones uncontested. Nate's coming in from the main room, though. His overshield lasted less than four seconds. He got melted. Rocket, I think he's. I think he died before he fired that rocket. I'm not sure. Nobody seems to be going for it. Wraith landing some nice snipe shots there. Prime and Gazza playing from an unfortunate position at the moment, kind of in low ground in the middle of the map, able to pistol down Wraith from top PR. Jones trying to avenge on Prime, does so. And now Gazzo versus Jones. Jones is going to slide into the darkroom, spawn his partner with him. They're both right under Gazzo at the moment. Prime spotting Wraith as he comes out. Good pistol shots, able to finish the kill. Will Jones be able to clean up Prime? Yes, Prime does go down. Here comes the snipe shot coming up behind both players. Nine. Prime knows he's there, but he's going to keep watching because rockets are getting ready to spawn here in five seconds. Landing long range pistol shots. Great grenade from Wraith. That is a huge kill here right before everything spawns. Wraith is going to get camo. And it is all on Jones to fight for these rockets. Rockets have been naded. Gazza, they weren't naded correctly. Gazza wasn't able to catch them. Prime able to spray down Jones. It's all on Wraith at the moment. He has to land that snipe shot. Wraith with camo. Camo snipe. They're all players trying to find the rockets. Gazzo has found them. They were blown into main room. Rocketing himself, he barely survives. Camo player. Oh, excuse me. Wraith has the camo. I thought Prime had it for a second. Jones getting the eight minute overshield, finally. And Prime has about 10 seconds or so left of camo. 20 seconds. Gonna see if he can get a pick. Gazzo finally getting a health pack. Now, that's. That's particularly significant when you have rockets because if you have yellow health or worse, one grenade, even if you're full shield, will kill you. And that's a really bad way to lose rockets. So you, they do kind of want to seek out those health packs in those instances. Nine minute mark hits, Prime swooping up the camo immediately. Jones and Wraith playing from the camo hall. Wraith still with one rocket to work with. Gonna try to guard top PR. I'm nading up at him. Let's see if any of these nades connect on Wraith. Wraith's going to port to safety. Oh, thinking about porting to safety. He's going to stay there and guard this pink hall. Game's going to slow down for a little bit here. 30 seconds left. Wraith's still guarding. Wraith finally deciding to portal. He's going to see if he can come up behind somebody, but Prime has 
portaled into Camel and a beautiful pinch on Camel Room. Wraith ported away at exactly the wrong moment and the both players converged on the Camel Room and this rocket has yet to get used. Finally spotting Gazzo, able to get one there. Less than 10 to go before everything spawns. Gazzo looks like he's gonna settle for the overshield. He's coming up behind Jones. 10 minutes spawn, Wraith getting the camo. Jones coming off spawn, so they're both in camo room. Wraith gonna fly for these new rockets, but Prime already has him taking out the camo player. The no cam oh, and converging the double, so huge kill from Prime. That is why it's so dangerous to go through pink hall when you have camo, because it's really easy to see a camo player coming through there, and it's really easy to rocket them. And by the time you make it down the hall, they probably have rockets. Prime finally finding the right angle to get the rocket kill without killing himself. I missed the last score check, but I think Gazzo and Prime have retaken the lead. That's 38 for Gazzo and Prime. Nobody's score check, and we'll have to see what Jones and Wraith have next time they get a kill. 39 now, closing in on the end of the game, and the momentum has definitely swung towards Gazzo and Prime. Jones' morale is already pretty low here. 43-39, they are winning, but it's not good enough for them, apparently. Wraith getting the 11-minute overshield. Let's see how they're able to converge on this pink setup. Gazzo, oh, the snipe battle! Beautiful shots from Gazzo while he was in the window. Prime's porting up into camo, staying alive. Wraith with the overshield. If he portals up, he'll probably get his overshield grenaded off of him. That's why he doesn't chase the kill. More great shots out of Gazzo, picking off Jones once again, narrowing the gap 43-41 as we close in on the end of the game. Jones and Wraith up by two. Gazzo spotting Jones as he comes out, strips his shield but can't get his pistol out in time. Big kill out of Jones, shutting down Gazzo who is on a hot streak, and Prime going down as well. So Jones and Wraith needing only five more to close this one out. Gazzo unable to get the melee off in time. Three seconds to go till everything, and they're, they are really taking off here towards the end of the game. 48, I believe it's 48-41. Prime needs this kill on Wraith, and Wraith shuts him down, staying alive with one red. Here's the game-winning kill. Jones on Gazzo as he soars from top PR. They picked it up in the last 10 kills of that game. Great play out of Jones and Wraith to stay one step ahead of Gazzo and Prime. Gazzo and Prime went on a, a real hot streak there as they, uh, when they stole those rockets. I thought they were actually leading because it was so many kills in a row. However, Jones and Prime, or Jones and Wraith, excuse me, able to stay out in front. Game two, hang them high. Jones and Wraith spawning on the red side of the map. That's not what you want, but Prime getting picked off here. Not players trading kills. All players on the red side of the map off the random spawns at the beginning of the game. Wraith able to shut down Gazzo, trying to fly across the middle of the map to get to this camo, but Prime is already there. Prime with first camo of the game, doesn't want to jump for rockets, knows they're going to be looking for it. Able to take out Wraith with a crispy three, but Jones shuts it down from across the map. Rockets still in play, but camo is burned in the first minute. 20 seconds. Wraith playing from red, both Jones and Wraith playing from red tower. Jones lining up the, the snipe nade. He's going to blow Sniper to himself and Nine. fight out of red. Nine. Sniper going to land right in his lap. Five seconds to go to a camo and his partner's dead. Look for Jones to give this random as he tries to get a kill simultaneously. Great play out of Jones giving the random and picking off Gazzo. However, Prime was able to get the one minute camo and he threes Jones from across the map. Now spotting his partner giving the random in the middle as he jumps for rockets. They know he has rockets. Jones coming off spawn behind him. Prime trying so hard to not kill himself right there. I cannot believe Jones wasn't able to light him. Such incredible self-control out of Prime right there to not rocket himself on Jones. That was beautiful to watch. Spotting Jones coming off spawn at blue face and takes him out. And Wraith is going to back off and try to random him. Look for Prime coming up with camo. That was his random? Oh my goodness, that was a random spawn, and Jones spawned right in front of the Camel Rocks player. Incredibly unfortunate. Now Prime able, able to take some, some nice, taking a nice route to come up behind Wraith, an unexpected, unexpected route, <coughs> taking him off. Prime is hot here in game two. Spotting players nearly immediately. 
Yet another two down. Jones got a god tier spawn up at Blue Pistol. He's not going to be able to deny camo. Shots on Gazzo, but Gazzo's probably going to live. Wraith trying to finish off Prime, who has dropped a blue shotgun. Prime wins the pistol battle. Now Jones coming in to finish. Does clean up the no shield player, but Gazzo is the relevant player here. He has camo. He's going to give Prime. Prime spawn might give Gazzo away. That was not a random. It looks like Gazzo is going to play. He's going to try to go top power up most likely. That's why he went to red tower. And, and Prime playing a disciplined game right here. He knows he can't really do anything. He just needs to kind of wait for his partner to make something happen. So keeping himself alive, laying down shots, and just trying to be vision for his partner. His partner's looking at his screen. It's almost like a second set of eyes for the camo player. Gazzo's camo has expired, and he still he needs to survive for 10 more seconds till top power up spawns. He, he was picked off. Five seconds to go until this is going to be camo and top power up here in the third minute. Gazzo taking out Wraith with a brilliant nade. Jones answers back, and now Prime versus Jones. Jones can... Prime last man standing right as camo spawns. Let's see if he can get out of there. They spawn right behind him. They spawn right behind him on the camo ramp. So Prime's camo getting shut down. And Gazzo unfortunately spawned at red shotguns. And he had to just push middle of the map so he didn't get his team trapped there. Prime's random did not pay off there. He, he was in the right spot, but it was really bad luck that Gazzo spawned right behind him. 30 seconds left. Now they're doing what Jones did earlier, nading Snipe here into this pocket at red. So Prime, Prime has the Snipe to work with, and 20 seconds before they need to be in position. For, oh, they get two kills! Look for Gazzo to fly out of red and try to contest this four-minute camo. Jones spawning in camo corner. Wraith across the map at red, so they have a nice pinch on Gazzo. Looks like they're not going to be able to get to this camo. I'm expecting Jones to clean up Gazzo here real soon. There's the kill. Denies it. Did get? Oh no, Gazzo wasn't able to reach it in time. So Jones getting the four minute camo already has rockets. And Wraith picks off Gazzo from across the map. They see where they spawn. He's got Gazzo getting the, the top blue magnum spawn. I'm surprised he didn't get rocketed off spawn there. Because Wraith had eyes on Prime's uh, Prime down there in red grapes. He knows he's going to spawn him up at blue magnum. I'm moving across the map unhindered, able to get out of his spawn trap, and he picks off Wraith's beautiful route out of Prime to get out of the bad spawn and get a kill on the player in a good position. However, Jones still with camo rockets. His camo's going to fade right now because he picked it up pretty much off spawn. Getting the long range rocket on Prime, trying to turn the double on Gazzo and does so. Very timely kill as new camo getting ready to spawn in five seconds. Jones is in position to play for it, and unfortunately for Prime, I'd be surprised if they don't leave Gazzo alive right here. Yep, they stop shooting because they want Prime to spawn. No, uh, that might have. Oh, Prime getting the red spawn anyways. Really unfortunate for him. So Jones able to get back to back camos. I believe that was his last rocket. He's playing from Blue Magnum. Both players spawning up with him. Wise play to drop down and stay alive. And Jones able to use his camo in different angle to take him out from across the map. Jones sending a skyward grenade. 30 seconds left. I think he's trying to knock down that top power up. He's already done one. It does take two to knock it off. So there's the second one. I don't know what this top power up is, but or where it's going to land. But Jones should be scooping one up here pretty soon. It looks like it's another camo. Look for Jones to play from where he's at and just kind of wait for his current camo to expire so he can get that next one right away. Nine, eight, and Jones is just going to have a pile of camos down here because he's still he just knocked down the top power up right there and then the new one's getting ready to spawn. So look for Wraith to shift down and maybe get this six minute camo. And Jones is going a long way to get the six minute rockets. No, Wraith more concerned about taking these players off of top blue and they're going to let that six minute camo sit there for a little while Jones is probably going to stay pretty close to it. They're just really working well together, using each other's screens to find these players and pistol them down. Not in a hurry to get these camos collected. Now, but they got the blue shotgun spawn. Wraith doing his best to keep them off of it. Both players are there. Jones has rotated back, and Gazzo at least able to get it off the map. He got it, but there's no way he's getting away there. So the six-minute camo is burned. Jones is not going to be able to get that one. But his current one expires. Finally collecting the six-minute rockets. Trying to get over in position to help his partner. Long range shots on Gazzo. You have to pick your pistol shots so carefully on Hang'em High when you have camo. You, ha you need to make sure that you can get the kill before you open fire. 
because you don't want to give yourself away. It's what? such a valuable power up on this guy. Jones what? needing to rocket himself. The player was too close to him. He did not want to die without at least getting the kill. Jones and Wraith coming off spawn here at red. Jones flew out of red in time, and that's going to be a random spawn for Wraith right here. Spawning at Camel. Will he burn it? No, he get, got picked off before he could get to it. Jones naded it to himself. I'm not sure if he saw, <laughs> saw that in time, but he put a nade on the far side of Camel to make sure that he at least got it before dying. A heads up play. And he's still alive. He was able to use the quick camo to get his camo back in time. And now picking up kills left and right. Oh, he finally gets naded, and he is not happy about it. 33-25, Jones and Wraith out in front. Jones has had several camos this game. Really good control. And uh, unfortunately for Gazzo, both players just spawned right behind him. And Prime in a bad way down here in Blue Tombs. Easily getting taken out. Now Wraith's job off that two down is to find the spawners so that Jones can safely get this camo. However, he does go down. And I believe that's both players fighting out of Red Pistol. Will Jones get the camo? He takes out Gazzo and gets the camo, but Prime's grenade not going to let him get away. Wraith spawning behind Prime. Prime with a good grenade. He should get this kill. Going, Both players missing melees. Prime somehow did not kill him with that melee. Even though he was no shield, I think it's because he was moving backwards when he connected. When you're moving backwards with the melee, it does do less damage. Jones with the 8-minute rockets. No camo to speak of, though. He moves in trying to finish this kill. Long-range rockets coming out. Takes out Prime. And Jones is going to move to the bottom middle of the map to random his partner. Sending shots up. He knew he was going to die there. He just was hoping Prime would get a better spawn than the one he got. Prime spawned in red shotgun. And he has to move out to the middle to random Gazzo as well. Gazzo getting another unfortunate spawn at bottom open. Just a, a stretch of bad luck for Gazzo and Prime. They're going to... Nine minute mark. Nobody in position to get this new camo. I believe Wraith, Wraith is probably going to be the one to go for it if anybody does. Gazzo spawning right behind Wraith. They spot Jones sniping from the window, trying his best to deny this camo. And Wraith spawning right under him. He's gonna fly at it from bottom open. No, Wraith pushing it with no shields. Gazzo just died mere feet from the nine minute camo. And Jones is being a nuisance, using that tiny little pillar there in the rock, uh, in the window to keep himself alive. They've known he's there for the last 30 seconds or something. <laughs> sniping the uh, the shoulder of Prime just hitting the pixel of him that was sticking out. It was a gorgeous shot. And that 9 minute camo is still there. Wraith beating Gazzo in a pistol fight. That was his team's 45th kill. Jones and Wraith needing only 5 more. Connecting with the rocket. He's no shield. That's why he's not going for the camo. Trying to deny it, but unable to connect with the snipe. And that's all he had. He was out of rockets. Prime spawned close, picking up the camo. This could be the break they need, but both players are down there, and Wraith and Jones both in the elevated position. It's going to be really hard for Prime to get out of here alive with this camo. Meanwhile, Gazzo is just getting spawn trapped ruthlessly. So Prime needing to keep himself alive and give his partner a safe spawn. Gazzo finally getting, getting the spawn at bottom covered, moving in to help his partner get the kill. And they turn their sights on Wraith, who's peeking out at two players with his assault rifle out. Surprised I didn't hear Jones uh, exclaim about that one. Gazzo beating Jones in the pistol fight, getting that nice double. Both players, and he, Gazzo has taken top control. Prime still with the camo. Should be wearing off here very soon, though. Nathan Jones coming off spawn in camo corner. They were sending nades into the camo corner like they thought a player was there. They had no idea where their opponents were. The 11 minute mark is hit. Prime getting a second camo in a row. Gazzo needs to overwatch him because, oh, there's the game winner. Gazzo was trying to find spawns. He thought they spawned behind him, but he just needed to be facing camo to keep his partner alive. The Jones and Wraith win the series with a 2 0. And uh, Prime and Gazzo will fall to the loser's bracket.